Hey, how's it going? I'm Becky Safe. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to show you how you can use a sidechain trigger to trigger the LFO tool. Now, this is a technique that you would use instead of doing sidechain compression. So sidechain compression is using a compressor. And in this instance, we're using an envelope, audio envelope with Ghost MIDI. I'm going to show you how to do it inside of Ableton. But before I get into that, if you do want any long form music production, I do stream on Twitter which three times a week. It's twitch.tv forward slash Becky Safe. And also there is a music production discord with loads of music producers. Come join the community. The links to both of those are below in the description. Okay, so let's jump into Ableton. I'm gonna play what I've got in the door so far. Cool. So we have a kick drum, we have a snare with two layers, we have tops and we have a bass. Now what I want to do is put an LFO tool on the bass and send the kick using MIDI to trigger an envelope on the LFO tool to duck down the volume of the bass when the kick comes in. So in order to do that we need a MIDI track. So shift command and T on a Mac and then what you want to do is drag over a space, shift command and M to create a MIDI clip and draw in the notes where your kick drum sits. So you're just creating a blank MIDI track here with no instruments on here whatsoever. Zoom in just to check. We need to bring that back. Cool. So this clip now is sitting exactly where the kick drum is playing. So then what we want to do is we want to duplicate that. So make sure it is one barring length and then you press Command and D and duplicate across. And then shift over all of it, Command and J, it's going to join it together. And if we click on the track, you can see that there is no instrument on there. It is literally just MIDI, which is just a message. It's just sending a message uh, because there's no instrument to generate any sound. So now we have this MIDI track. What you want to do is you want to come over to instruments. You want to insert an instrument rack and then open it up and add an external instrument. And then now you have an external instrument where you're going to send this MIDI. So we're going to send it to the bass. So Command and R to rename it. Rename everything so that you know exactly what you're dealing with. So this is a bass. Before we do it though, we need to stick the LFO tool on the bass line. So go to your plugins, search for the LFO tool, drag the LFO tool onto the bass, and now we have the LFO tool there. Go back to the MIDI track, go to MIDI out, and you'll see that the bass has now appeared in the MIDI out. Go to MIDI out, and then obviously the only thing that's on there is the LFO tool. Now this MIDI is being sent to the LFO tool. If we go back onto the bass, we still need to do one more step because at the moment, this is working on the rate down here. We want it to work as an envelope. So whenever the MIDI comes in, it triggers it. So in order to do that, you go here where it says note retrig and you double click and you'll see it says envelope. It's really tiny, but it's ENV in that space there. Now if we play the track, you should see the bar come across every time the kick drum plays. And what I like to do is use a sidechain preset. So if you come to the presets here and you go down to sidechain 3, for example, when you do that, you'll notice that the envelope mode disappears. So you want to click it, double click it again. Now the really great thing about the LFO tool is you can now change the shape of the envelope inside this window. So down here would be a really harsh envelope. So as soon as the MIDI comes in, it goes straight down and then it ducks the volume completely to nothing. So you can hear that completely goes out. But you might not want that. You might want something a little bit smoother like this. And that's how you would use MIDI to trigger the LFO tool on the envelope mode as a side chain trigger. Get a MIDI track, get an external instrument, send it to the LFO tool and just remember to put it on envelope mode 
by double clicking in this space here. Really important. If you forget that, it doesn't work. Um, and that's it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please like it, drop me a comment and let me know what you thought and check out the Twitch streams as I do stream long form music production and there's a great community in the Discord as well. The links to all of that is below and I will see you for another video.